Right. That's a decision that as parents, I think you guys have to really together right decide on how you guys want to just taking two how minute you break. Wanna handle it. Just two minute because break. it is kind of a something that you guys are gonna have to discuss with nice. them. And it just depends how soon do you really want you guys to have your kids deal with something like that. I think she's in amazing condition considering she does have the syndrome. Um, and I think if you guys upkeep, like I said, with the proper feeding and everything, and I say at least a yearly health check, I mean a yearly x-ray to see where she, she's at. Um, I think with any degradation of the, the joints. Yeah, just to keep it, just to stay on top of it, I think, um, and with the proper vet, they'll give you, you know, ways of treating I'm gonna it. I'm going to turn Sasha's uh, notifications so, off. Hang on. So, I have a female. She's about three and a half. Okay. Now we're on Do Not Disturb. <laughs> Dr. Nen is awesome. We'll go see her in a sec. You guys want to go see her? You can go see what she's doing. She's here to find And then we're going to do some health checks on some outgoing girls. Look anywhere in. Hello, Julie. Because all I'm seeing are babies in there. I don't see very many or pairs. If you look in the blue or the white cage underneath where he and Matt Yeah, I looked in there. There was the only one. Oh, Daisy, watch me with the piggy. Morticia and Lindsay. Hi, Daisy's pig. And Delicia has an issue. No blur today. Perfect. I'm glad we cleaned the camera then. Let's go see real quick. Actually, I'm going to start on the health check and then we'll go visit Dr. Nunn. How's that? Because the family's waiting. So, Urs and I are going to do the health check together. And then Sauce is going to be out after she's done with her quick little break. And she's printing out more forms for us because, you know, we can't let her have a full break. She has to do some stuff for us, too. Yes, hit the like button. Helps us spread the education further. Ready. Look at the beautiful satin. You know I named these two? Yeah. When you were born. Yeah, when you were born. I remember when you were a wee little baby. Yes, everyone's saying a beautiful satin. The only thing you guys think I'm going to change You can change it to whatever you want. Choose yours now. So do you recommend calcium supplements or? Um, you know, I don't know if we've ever seen, have, I, I don't really hear about that being used. I don't know if it works for them as well. A lot of the supplements are usually for either other animals or humans and I don't know how well it's gonna absorb into their system and work. Um, that's something that you could ask your vet about and see if they've ever heard of, of doing that and seeing any good results with that. Um, because, I mean, it sounds like that would be a rational thing to try, but at the same time, I don't know, because it is, it's, it's mostly, it, they get brittle bones, and but they get that joint decay that can be problematic. So I don't know if it's more about maybe trying to make sure that they have plenty of space to stay active because i know that that can help with like you know slowing the development of the arthritis and stuff like that but again she was given the best start she could have been given to life so she has a much higher chance of being stronger and healthier because i think that if they don't have a good start and their immune system is kind of bled off the bat that really blends itself to the gene kind of taking over and and creating more havoc on the body but I think she, I mean, she's doing great right now, so. Uh, would you recommend to have an X-ray kind of soon as you kind of have a baseline right now? Or? That would be ideal. That would be awesome. Um, I think that that would be really smart to do, to, to know where she's at as a healthy young one. And then you can see and the vet can track any signs of change. And that would be the best way to be able to track that change and how fast it's happening. Yeah, that's awesome. No, 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 come here. Well, Urs isn't here right now, so I'll focus on Aria. Sorry. 
you have short little nails, is there anything for me to cut? But cut it, I will. Oh, she had a little. <laughs> I love when they have the little extra toe. Yeah. Pa uh, I forget the word for it now. Where are they gonna win? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think it's like a poly or um. I think it's polydactyl, but. You guys tell me what was what's the what do you call it when they have the I'm blanking I'm too tired the uh, toe the extra toe a little scab under her eye um you know if it, if it did it show up like it's like a scab scab like she got a little cut or something maybe from a hay piece or something like that because if so then. Um, It should be healing on its own. If it's already scabbed, it's probably okay. Um, it'll probably fall off on its own. You can always try taking the... Sasuke will sometimes take the, ta the scabs off. She finds it actually heals better if you get that scab off and, and just get the new fresh skin underneath it. So you can um, try to gently like moisten it with like a little eye wipe or something and then kind of um, see if it will rub off and see what's underneath it. If it's if it's nothing, if it's just like a little a little cut, then you can put some Neosporin on it. Jules, where did we leave off? Where are we? Where do you, need you can do Layla. Layla. Let me see how dare you use it. So uh, I did go over a potential satin syndrome with you. Yeah, we were, Ernest and I were talking about it more with them. They were asking us more questions about it. They're going to get a baseline x-ray, which I think is awesome just to see like to be able to track any change in case there is that's a great idea yeah isn't it your ears are cute huh? your earrings are cute oh thank you oh Layla I thought you were talking to Aria I thought you were saying her ears were cute <laughs> that too I know I know we're gonna have to go back to Got it. Got it. Yes, because I didn't want to have to run them back to the barn every time someone looked at them. Okay. If you were going back to the barn to talk out anyway, can you? Well, but I didn't want to have to come and pick them up again if someone wanted to look at them. We're all doing health checks now, so we just line it back up. Those are just uh, health checks down there on the bottom. They get build up. Some more than others. Okay. Okay. Oh. Now get it off your face. I hate when they have dark ears but light hair because then they're all right this girl black stuff with everybody pretty teeth pretty teeth you have pretty teeth 
Oh, oh. Nope, it's just a little drop on the ear. This prevents against lice, mites, and internal parasites. It's not a needle. See, no needle. It's blunt. It's just a little tip. You got bedding stuck on you, okay? Wait, it's all done. Whoa. Hello. There. There. Nice the posies. I saw Julian is here. Mm hmm What happened to Debbie? Uh, I, I don't know. I haven't seen her in a while. Maybe she moved. She... Uh, or she just kind of got... She just hasn't been here. Yeah. Like, she, she goes long periods sometimes. Yeah, I know. She was a volunteer, yeah. She likes to come do baths in the back. She'll come on and off. Hey, she's done! Is that alcohol? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I did there enough. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll check out. Did you get your supplies already? Yeah. Yes, I did. I'll pick one. I'll recommend you make it a little Allison and I saw each other at the Starbucks uh, after last Saturday mm -hmm. when we were discussing going to Starbucks. So I walk in to get my little order. And I'm like, fancy seeing you here. And the entire staff are looking at us like, what? And so after she left, I was like, we know each other. OK, we work together. And they're like, oh. And I'm like, we were just at work. It's the one that's over there. It's Lassen. Lassen, yeah. It's the one I get Starbucks in the morning, too, now, because I come down to Yeah. I have been there. Um? It's a shitty parking lot. What about the like work? Okay. And then who's underneath here? Are these vet visits or just health checks? Uh, there. Uh, I have no idea. I need to there for okay. no video. Well, let's figure it out. Who are you? Who are you? Where do you come from? Who's your mama? Not what is your grandmother say? <laughs> Um, are you guys seeing the vet or is it just a health check? I just want to make sure he's here. Are you live? Yeah. Hello, everyone. I've turned it to face all of us. Now they can see it. Hello. Earth says hi. <laughs> the pig's staring into the camera now. Skunk Lifner. Hi, Brigitte. Brigitte says hi, Fitz says hi, hi Christine says hi. Hi, Christine. They call it the panda pig. Tai Chan says hi. Hi, Tai Chan. Excuse It is a chunky pig. And this is a skinny pig, Sue, Marie. Oh, She's baby. very young. Oh, I remember. Yeah, I think I know this one. Really. Julie. Of everyone saying hi. Hi, Julie. Hi, Natalie. Oh. Hi, Carolyn. She's taking her break, taking her sweet time with her oh, break. Oh, no. Who passed? Heidi Horns. Yeah, who passed? Yeah, Brigitte, I heard. Oh, Brigitte. Solfang says hi. Solfang. <laughs> Oh, what happened? Was, it says something about piggies. Miss uh, Elise. Elise, what's happening? Hi, D from Ohio. Look at this handsome. Oh, handsome. Look at this lovely lady. She says, she's hello. She's, she's like, I may be chunky, but I'm not a boy. <laughs> Hello, so look at me, look at my face, I'm so pretty, I'm rubbing my own face. They're loving the pig. <laughs> oh, you made some poops. Hi, Hi from New Zealand. Hello. Hey, Sonia. Hi, Claudia. I want to go to New Zealand so bad. Gemma. I'm trying to read everybody's name. Like, hey, Keisha? I don't know. 
Oh, she's brown mommy. Oh, she's got blue eyes. Has she? Mm -hmm. Oh, I love the, the blue room. Like I get. Yeah. One of those palm deal girls has blue eyes. Hi. Are you ready? Are you ready? She's got one teeny, teeny, tiny extra. Right there. <laughs> just in case. It just tried. It just tried to, to add an extra okay. little edge. Oh, and a teeny little over here, too. That's hilarious. <laughs> You're They're almost like nipple Yeah. Want to see your blue eye? Oh, she's so It's kind of hard to see in the light, but she is so cute. What's her name? Oh, yeah. S'mores. This is S'mores. A very lovely lady. S'mores. What else can I do? Uh, uh, the other pig in that one. Okay. They, 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 they. They wrong with these earrings. That they get caught on everything. Okay. Let me get my help. Can I say hi? Can I say hi? It's a baby skinny girl. Pops everywhere. The tiniest of nails to trim. But I do it anyway. I know. It's funny you get painted in those colors because I was actually going to do similar to that, but more on the. And I was actually going to do the other. I was actually going to do the green one of that collection, but then I decided I wasn't. I was too tired to do magnetic. I think it's called Mercury Sears. Yep. That's the I have that, yeah. But you know, I was just wearing the, the sister one to that. The uh, pink green one of it. You guys, guess who's coming? Do you hear? Do you hear her laughing and coming? <laughs> oh, she's got food. Saskia started um, beating me. That's what she was doing. I was beating her with it. Stop. That is abuse in the workplace. <laughs> this is I, I've reported to HR, but she is HR. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, cat grass. I call it cat grass. What? I call it cat grass. Mallow? Cat grass? That's what I call it growing up. Fountain grass. I call fountain it fountain, grass, that's fountain grass or cattail. Fountain grass, and they will eat the whole thing, though I'm not a fan of them eating the, the, the fuzzy ends, so I take them off like this. They just go. It's very satisfying. I just take them off like that. And then we have a whole stock left that they love to eat. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I eat it, but I have a mask on. Oh, it's a little baby. Hey, you want to do this Do you want to do this oh, 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 no, no, no. Let's see here. Why aren't you down? I want to see what you're doing. Oh, because I brought it back up so that they could see you. Let's, have, let's see this little guy decimate like this big giant thing. Here. And he's going to eat the whole thing. She. She. And that just shows you the strength of these of these jaws. Yeah, because that is like this is like tough, a tough fiber. But and it's good for their teeth, I bet. Oh yeah, and it's gonna all go in, isn't it? Both pieces at the same time. Do you see that? She's got both pieces. Uh, no, that pig is done. I just finished it, so there's nobody waiting, waiting. Oh, she picked the little one. Look at her little white like, girl. Oh, how cute. And she's just determined to be eating whatever she has closest to her. <laughs> and I love this stuff, you know. Here in America, it grows everywhere. everywhere. As, I grew like, up with it around a fountain in my You know, the side of the look, road. Look I'm at up. the green spit up. This coming out of her mouth. She's eating it so fast. She's drooling green stuff. 
<laughs> and this is free food. I'm all about free food. So they will eat this, but I'm just like, you know, I just don't want to risk. It's just so dry. It's so cute. So I just take it off. It's so easy to take it off. And you're left with like primo green food. See when they're young, they take the whole thing off. Oh, people talking about losses. I'm sorry for the losses anyway, sorry. Anyone lost a piggy? Last one. You could have pig eating races. You know, like they do. Really, you've seen those really cute videos of them, like with all the long pieces of grass. We should do that. We could do it with these really we easily. We should with babies. We got so many babies right now. Well, when do we not have so many babies right now? We always have all the babies right now. Good news, the doctor did. Yeah, it. we did need another pig at the other end. My girls do that, really reenact the lady and jumping work. all the time. Oh, nice. They fight over the last piece of parsley or whatever they got for breakfast. Yeah. Carrot greens. They got some. My mom brought over carrot greens. It's nice to get good news. Let's get all the seeds out so we can go make new plants and free food elsewhere. Go forth be free. And go forth and multiply. Oh, they will. And I have a water bottle. Oh, did you show so cute little baby? These type of seeds are insidious. So they get into everything. Whose baby is this? Did you, did you just steal someone's baby? No! Today? I'm doing a health check on her. But so, I would steal her. So you stole someone's baby? Potentially. Yeah. <laughs> Good baby girl. So, and I've got this left. Come back here. I'm just showing you. Oh. Get this left. They love this. They love it. Okay, here, here, here. Have more. Have more. Are you done? You want to finish your health check now? You want to finish the health check now? Have more. And of course, grass, seriously, is their favorite food. Come on. Come on. She's like, have we got something else? Clean ears. They're so young. Look at those clean ears. Oh, when they're that young, there's not much to do, Jules. I know. Look how clean your ears are, Joy. It's so nice little, to look at. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see the teeth. Dip of, um, Let me see the teeth. You got green all over your mouth now. Yeah. Yeah. and you're good. All right, some good. people got here. Let me see what they want. Say goodbye to the little baby. Isn't she precious? Oh, it's okay now. Let me. No, 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 no. Let me love you. Okay. One second, let me get the baby back. Haley's sister, they, they went away. Hello. What's going on? Did we finish health checks? Jules, did you shut in your nails? No. It's nail time. Actually, I gotta my get nails them checked out. Where's I haven't done my nails in forever. The checkout phone? Oh, so just refer them oh. to Hannah. Hannah will check them you out. You guys, Hannah, uh, in the striped shirt right there, she has the phone and she'll check you out. Sorry, Hannah. <laughs> So, wait, at which certain one? angles, they match my mask. Wait, which one are you wearing? See how they match my mask at certain angles? It's Moongate, the one you got Oh, Moongate, yes. And I already had it. Wait, Moongate was from who? I was going to wear, I got her this one. She I was going to wear um, the green version, magnetic version of that collection. And we would have been actually really Moongate nice. is Cirque? Or Moongate is, is uh, no, Cupcake. Is it? Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, it is. I remember I was on a cupcake kit for a while. Mm -hmm. Cupcake kit. <laughs> for cupcake kick for a while. Yeah, I used to do that with someone once. What, Carolee? Vicky is in my room. Gives these out for the song guys at the Solvang is sitting on my lap listening to you. He knows our voices. Yeah. Hey, Solvang! <laughs> Aww, Solvang! Somebody was calling him Solfang in the Instagram earlier today. <laughs> Okay. Oh, hey, Lee. Here, Here let me clean, let me clean this. Okay, so... One sec, one sec, one sec. Ooh, what's this? Why is she wet? Oh, she's very wet. She's all clumpy, right? Yeah. What's going on? Is she having problems with uh, that? No, I, I, I have a little cut on my finger, and there's alcohol on here from the... Uh, Ultrasound she did. It hurts. So, you know, right? It hurts. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, that's a great idea. I haven't yeah. thought of that. She doesn't move a lot, though. That's a great idea. I didn't think she of that. She stays in her house a lot. <laughs> yeah. Hi, everyone. You know what? The, the thing about the masks is that you can't see people smile. I know. We're smile. We're gonna smile. People are not a very expressive. You gotta I think smile. I'm expressive, but you gotta really make an effort to smile. You in can order tell to see smiling. it, <laughs> smile with your eyes. Smize. Smize. Okay. Smize is all right. Can we get the Smize camera? Smize the heck out of people. Can we get the camera? Yeah. Angled properly. And who's calling me an angel? I'm, Hi, I'm, I'm angel. Full an angel. Oh, oh that is a, like that. a that is like a it's Scandinavian Czech. name. No. That's not Czech. Maybe. I know Czech. Oh, you are you are Czech. I am Czech. Ha <laughs> ha. really. Where are you from? You're so pretty. I want to know where they're from. South Africa. Hello. Oh, South Africa. Speak Afrikaans. The only thing I can say in Afrikaans is swear words, so I can't say anything. No, I can't say Is it true that people, because my South African friend I lived with taught me to say, no, 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 don't say it. There's minors here. No, 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 don't say it. There's minors. There's some don't very crass things that they'll say to each don't other when they're swearing. Don't say but it. But my friend, she would say it. That's how she would greet her best friend from South Africa because she grew up there. She grew up actually in the polo fields. Um, so she got like quite a different experience than a lot of South Africans. But they, uh, don't say it. I'm not going to say it. Is it that way? The same one. Uh, one of my dearest, dearest friends is uh, Afrikaans, and she um, was like Miss South Africa at one point. Did you meet her when you were modeling in London? Yes. Uh -huh. Miss South Africa. Chess Van Zanten. I bet Zanten. she was fun. Chess Van Zanten. And yeah, she was hysterical. I love. I think every South African person I know that I, when I live with Susan, stuff, they're just hysterical. <laughs> yeah, she was. She was very funny. She was warm, character. awesome people. She sits in a. And because she was Afrikaans, mm. we would have our own secret language. Yeah. And you know, the drunker I became, the better I became. It. Isn't it the truth? <laughs> <laughs> I think, I don't know why. <laughs> Well, because you have a very good leg up with Afrikaans, since it's yeah. so close to Dutch. Yes. But... It's okay, Haley. So, Haley, so now you got no more jiggies. What you call those? Mets. Those suck. She sits in her space house. She's sitting in her pee, which is not good. Well, does she have ouchies that she doesn't want to walk a lot? Yeah, is there a reason why she's not? Is there no, a reason? She's, she's, she's always been like that. Like, she's like, lady, you are She's like anti-social. Does, does she have like ouchy joints or something? Check her. And I, I, okay, I'm going to clean this up a little bit too. Because that looks silly. Oh. Let's see if I... This just looks a little silly. See? So I'm just going to... Even that out a little bit. We're giving her some sort of a butt cut, I guess. She does have a crown. Yeah, she's crusty. It's pretty. pretty she you like can't that. really cut the other way, so that's so funny. Okay. Really? 
Will this distract you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so where'd it go? Where'd it go? It's right there. It's right there. Grab the end. I'll mm. feed it to you. Mm. I love you, Haley. Pretty girl. Look at the distraction happening. Sauce, it works. It works. Yay. Okay, so look a little better now. What do you guys think? A little better? It'll grow back. <laughs> uh, yes. It, it does better. look better, but she has a very shaved butt. <laughs> Okay, so I felt your nipples. They're still pretty. Oof. Okay, so I'm gonna soak your nips. And then She's like, wait, no, I really don't off. like this. <laughs> I'm a little distracted. <laughs> but the Sistorlin injections are working with her, which is wonderful, which is great, great news. That's good. Good girl. Okay, we're gonna put these back. Then I'm gonna take these out. Where did you do the nosies? But you were here not that long ago, though. Yeah, she was here like um, about like two months ago. Mm -hmm. Not too long. Ago. Maybe like a month and a half. Can you all see good? Yeah. She needs a nice bath. Yeah. She's got some dirt on her. Soft Soft poop on her back of her foot. See. There. Let me feel. Is everything good there? What about your ears? Ears are good. Yes. She's the loudest. Some teethies. <laughs> oh. Beautiful teethies. Okay, let's go. Uh, ah, here. <laughs> Just give me a piece. <laughs> Hey, oh, we don't have any. Do you Mexican? want this? We're out I, I couldn't find it, so Let me go see if I can find so it. I just got that. Oh. Okay, here. There you go. You eat that. Sure Come on. Another. You eat that. I do my thing. Okay? Maybe this is the I new distract. This is a... Take that deal, Haley. Take the deal. It's a good deal. <laughs> Maybe this she's is a good distract. Nah, no, she's not that into No, because it. she hates being in that position so much that she's like, I'm over it. <laughs> Yeah, but I gotta get this out. Uh, butt cushion? Uh, little butt cu cushion for you, Missy. Yeah. Yeah. Nice Alright, butt cushion. Okay, come here. Come here, give me, give me, give me. I love you, Haley. Yeah. I know. It's, it almost deforms the nipples when it gets that much of a crut on it. Yes. Yeah. Outgoing adoption health check. Can you do the outgoing uh, health check? Um, so a border pickup. Yeah. Oh, and then you know what? Can you? Oh, we, someone already took him. Dog. He had to go to the bag. Yeah, that's fine, sweetie. Go ahead. There, see, this one's done. I knew I'd see a buttload of glasses. We've gone through the worst of it. Now this one. I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. If you can't see us, what's the point, really, in watching, right? It's okay, Yeah, she's okay. Okay, Mama, she Oh, she's she dicky. Okay. I know, that's such a Dutch thing. You know, I've actually said that to a pig before. I've been oh, so diggy. zoned out that I literally have repeated the things that I am so used to hearing you say when they're struggling. <laughs> I'm like, okay, when I'm trying to comfort them, I've literally so, said that and then gotten surprised by myself. Tell me, all the Dutchies here, who knows, who, who okay. heard me say Jose <laughs> Dicky? It's okay, Haley. I would like some, uh, there is no antibacterial cream here. Oh, okay. That would be nice. It's okay, Haley. Okay, Mama. It's okay, Princess Haley. You're so pretty. That's a lot of crusties. Okay, sweetie pie. And that's so interesting, isn't it? That they developed crusty nipples when they have uh, reproductive issues. I mean, I guess who would, who would expect that? Yeah, thank you. 
It's really okay. Whoa! So I didn't really make anything bleed, but it's tan when the skin's so irritated. Yeah, the, tightness the skin of the is crust. irritated, so I just want to make sure and put some of this stuff on, so we're not going to get anything icky. These plants are cool. Man. Entering her system, and this is nipple crust. Look at that. Yum. She sits crust. a lot in her house. Well then, give her some CBD and see if she... Let me check her um, joints. Nope. Pretty girl. Let's see. Let's see. That one seems better than the other one. Mm -hmm. no, no. Yeah, well, if they're not relaxing, then it's really hard to tell as well. But coming up is definitely less than down. I will just start giving her CBD, Brian, and see if that will make a difference in her in her walking. Um, this is something I tell a lot of people: the CBD when they have some ache and pain coming from the joints. Especially when they're getting older, the CBD is something that you kind of want to have in your in in your kids because it will make them more active. And where before they may have had like a dull look in the eye, all of a sudden the light will go on, and you will literally watch that happen. Probably the best use of the CBD is for the arthritic pain. It seems to work really wonderfully. Yeah, but any sort of pain. Whoa. Sorry. Especially since the arthritic pain is just kind of like a. It can be. It can be but yeah, we know for sure that it works with art with uh, with uh, arthritic pain. The joints. For yeah. sure. The joints. These okay. plants are cool, man. I'm telling you. I'm, it's like the way the seeds form in it. You know, I love to grow. Um, What's that stuff? The collard greens. Yes. Yeah. And I've had these collard plants for five years now, and they grow back every summer, and they give me abundance of, of, um, really good of the leaves. Green. But I just went online, and I bought um, five see. little planters of the collard tree. There's a tree? Yeah. But the ones you grow already are almost as big as trees. Yeah, but this is <laughs> supposedly better. I hope it's not the same that I got because I then, you know, I'd be silly. Yeah. And um, in the summer, I can literally have a harvest every other day. And we have so many pigs, so we divided through all of them. Oh, we almost went there. Lady, divided you through all of them. The leg. You should start. You you can can start growing your food. Really, start growing your own food. It's so fun, and it's not that hard. Um, and and some of it is so easy to grow, like colors, because I am the okay. I love 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 gardening. I will always you will always find me with a pocket full of seeds that I picked up somewhere when I saw a nice plant, and I'm like, oh, let's get the seeds and stuff, right? That's me. But growing them, that's a whole different ball game. <laughs> Because nothing grows, I'm just, but I'm so desperate to make it work. I even want to get like a worm farm. Anyway, um, but those will always grow. What are you talking about? Yeah, worm farm. Yeah, so. Are you going to start being a bug person? I always was. Brian, we got one for her. Like an entomologist, so like you're going to be collecting bug specimens. I should have been a biologist. <laughs> You want some um, Madagascar hissing cockroaches? So no. Okay. <laughs> no. But I'm fascinated by the aphids that go, I, I will study them like real close. And it's Urs and weird. I, <laughs> Urs and I have had various moments where we've just stopped and watched ants be living their lives. Oh, I love watching ants. So Urs and I like get very into like watching ants live their little lives. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I track cool them. Too, and to see watch. how far they can go. And it's I like, they're, it's like they're crossing a vast desert when they're crossing the concrete of the front yard. <laughs> Wait, what was it that you they said there's more ants than people time? in the world. What? It was that one that was trying to grab the uh, dead cockroach yes. and they were trying to drag it this tiny one ant was trying to yes. drag a oh, big dead cockroach and, and we were, we're like cheering it on <laughs> as a kid i watched hours and hours of ants 
they're, they're fascinating. I would just sit on the floor Especially and when just you watch them watch do, like, them. their group colony stuff. Yeah. yeah, I would just be so fascinated. That stuff I does. And ponds. I would sit in the pond and just watch the oh, pond those are fun. yeah. You know, the it's little just, turtles. Little I see fish, the like colors. universes in everything. Yeah. It's like their it's own <laughs> little universe <laughs> in these. You know, I I don't know. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Maybe. Okay, let's uh, let's go say hi to our special guests today. <laughs> Wait, I gotta figure this out. Oh, come on now. Ah, I did. Hello, special guest. Hello. No, wait, I didn't figure it out. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Nan. Hi, everybody. Everybody loves you. And listen, if you really love Dr. Nan, you got to go find her YouTube channel and subscribe. Thank you. You just go put in Dr. Nan, N-E-N-N, -N, veterinary, and it'll come up. Okay? So you can follow her exploits as a... Yeah. large animal veterinarian and she you know goes like look this is her awesome truck and she goes everywhere and helps what you help everything All goats she loves goats, goats and horses horses donkeys, she's an goats, amazing horse vet llamas alpacas chickens chickens you see lots of chickens we're trying to put some more really fun content up there. We've got some guinea pig things, of course, but hopefully there'll be more fun stuff. She's up working too. on it, so but yeah. but you know, give her a leg up, guys, because she's given so much to our community, and we're so grateful for her. Well, thank you. You know, who else has a vet come to the rest? You know, they're rescued twice a week and helps out the community with all this stuff that is just that is needed, and you know we're mainly doing um what's it called oh my gosh totally forgot the word uh, diagnostics, diagnostics which is you know so necessary in order to really know where to start in getting your pet you know on the way to get better and she doesn't do surgeries but her diagnostics are amazing so you at least you know where to start and a decent rate she's she she you know it's not about the money for dr. Nan it's really about just providing a wonderful service and having enough money to pay everybody and you're not gonna feel like being you know walking out of there oh my gosh I just you know need to take a loan out <laughs> you know and that's what we love about dr. Nan as well and uh, and of course Jen. Hi, we're happy to be Hi, here. Guys. There's no Nan without Jen. <laughs> There's no Nan without Jen, and I love Jen, and Thank I've you known guys. Jen because I we've worked together with yes, the horses with when the you horses. were somewhere else. Yep. And uh, we always got along well, and I know your mom because your mom used to work at the shelter and used to call me all the time when they were guinea pigs. <laughs> So yeah, there she says hello. Yes, <laughs> say hello back. So we, we there's a relationship there, and then uh, yeah, Doctor Nan, we've I've seen you long before you started your own practice as well. Yes. And you would come as your last year intern and as come and vet. take care of our horses. <laughs> and the stuff that she would tell me would kind of blow us away. It's like, wow, this lady really knows her stuff. <laughs> so yeah, seriously, I mean, there's vets and there's vets. Okay, it's there's so just, nice. Yeah, she's amazing to work for as well. Yeah, I bet. I bet. She's one of the a sweet, sweet lady. She is the best person I've ever worked for. So, <laughs> okay, so yeah, we know you have to say this. No, I, <laughs> no, it's true. No, it's truly true. I've like been in the industry. The I've been in the industry for a long time, and yeah. she truly has uh, treated all her employees very well. So, and it's nice to work under somebody who is willing to work out problems instead of blaming everything that happens so it's really right. nice to right right work with somebody who yeah, super important. works really well with all her employees so right and that's how you get the respect it. you yes, know and absolutely and, yeah absolutely and that's what you want uh, <laughs> oh, okay <laughs> okay fine this is love fest love fest over okay so what are we working on uh, can I come take a sneak no, peek? We don't have very much exciting stuff Nothing, right now. no. We're getting meds ready. meds ready. We have Oreo. He has 
He's an older can I do anything? Gentleman. I'm a little quiet right now. If there's anything I can do to help. Thank you. Um, you know what we do? An X-ray of Desiree's. Can you take it away? Okay. Oh, okay. Well, let me get my little guy. Okay. I have a little guinea pig that was born from one of our Palmdale uh, mamas. Now, this was a horde. Uh, they were hoarding and all the females were pregnant. Bad situation. We squeezed them all in. They're getting all their babies now. In fact, this is the newest baby of the bunch. Oh, she'll show you nursing with mommy. Look at that little monkey there. Okay. Whoa, whoa, stay with me. Anyway, that's the cutest little thing, and she has one baby, and that's one of these, these blonde mamas, we call them. We call them the blonde mamas. This is the nursery. And then, are your lights on? Some of the lights are broken. Okay, this is what I'm concerned about. I have three little boys in here all from the same palmdale they've been sneezing they after they were born they the mamas got sick the babies got sick it's just almost every single one of them but the one on the left i am concerned about i think he he is underweight he's not really gaining much weight i have a feeling he is blind um i want to just I don't know. I want to get an X-ray done to see what his what his bola looks like at this age, and I'm hoping to not find what I'm what I might find. Okay, come here, little man. I just need this little baby. See how he? Oh, you see? It's like he can't really see me. He can't really see me. Come here. And when they can't see you, they're either really tame, which is really unusual for a boy this age, because they usually are all over the place. And I believe, let's do the clap test. Let's do the clap test. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we know with the clap test, they're not supposed to, um, uh, they're supposed to move their ears uh, to indicate that they've heard it or make some kind of a rumbling sound. Uh, can you put your hand just, just behind him? Uh, yes. Yeah, while I do the, you know, the clap test. And I want you to look ahead and just be focused on nothing for a minute. We, did we see him move? We did, didn't we? This one jumped. What about this one? I, oops. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I always drop the live. Hey, come back here, friend. Come oh, back here, you better give her a He's a wild one. Anyway. Um, uh, that was inconclusive, to be honest. I, I couldn't quite see. It's a little hard to, to do it again. I would say try again. Um, um, but, well, he's going to an x-ray done right now. So I just want to see what his head looks like. Oh, it is a baby! Yeah, I think oh, he's blind. Baby? He's blind, yeah. Okay, he's definitely know. blind. It's this baby. He should have a baby. <laughs> oh, no. So... Yes. For his feet. And they're getting ready for the x-ray. So I'm number two x-ray. I am on the waiting list. Let me see. He did react, huh? Yeah. Is there four by four? Well, I just really want to make sure, because he's sneezing and he's been on the antibiotics already. Cut the vet wrap. Okay, just cut the vet wrap. Oh, who's your little baby? That's my baby. Level yeah, but he's blind. I believe he's blind. Let's 
sneezing. The mamas were not, they came from a hoarding group. Okay, so we're not there yet. I'll just walk around with my baby. Uh, wonder where I got it? Yeah. Anywhere alongside the road. Oh, okay. You just gotta, they're big plumes. Uh-huh. And I, I take the plume off. So you can literally, when you go down this road, you turn onto Chatsworth, uh -huh. there's a bunch of them. Okay. Yeah. That's the paved road, right? Yeah. Okay. There's a bunch of them everywhere. Uh -huh. You just got to look for them. Now I told you, you're going to see them everywhere. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Seriously, I, I just, I have a bunch in my yard and I just love it because it's always, there's always food. And the pigs love it too. I'll just cut the whole batch of it and they just go bonkers over it. Nice. All righty. Well, it's good seeing you. Yay, good to see you. Thank Did you. she talk about Thank wrapping you. the paw? Yeah, she gave me some of this stuff. So I'm going to, what is this stuff called? I have to order some. Vet wrap? Vet wrap. Okay. Yeah, vet yeah. wrap. Okay. Awesome. All right. Perfect. Thank All right. You so much. Good have luck, sweetheart. Yeah, guinea pig and guinea pig sized dogs. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. My, my guinea pig is bigger than that dog. <laughs> <laughs> We have the guinea pig dog. Come on. Starting to get a rush. You dirty? Why are you so hungry? Yeah, childbirth being extremely painful is a human thing. This is dirty. Uh, not really an animal thing. They just pop them out like, oh, you know, in between sandwiches. What? Well, in between handfuls of grass. Put it that way. Pop what out, baby? Yeah. <laughs> Look how chill this boy is. Whose baby is that? One of ours? Yeah. I want to get an extra because I believe him to be blind. Really? Yes. Was he born with the kind of crusty eye, crust over the eyes? I uh, don't know. I just know I observed him last week and uh, I'm convinced he's blind. Hmm. And considering he came from the Palmdale group, uh. where they're all getting a little sick, I just want to see what his little head looks like. It's, you know, research. Is that the theme milk? I don't know. So is this it? is the one that has the funny eyes. Yes, it's a yeah, little that's boy. The, that's, the, that's the female. Yeah, that's I what think this saying. one is blind. Okay, let's see, where are we? Okay, so they're getting ready for the x-ray. Jen's putting Piggy in place. Doctor's putting machine in place. And there we go. That's your Piggy. What are you x-raying for, Desiree? Um, head tilts, random head tilts, and uh, anytime he touches left ear, he gets really... He's a bola piggy. Yeah, he's a bola pig. No, yeah. Piggy. And his left one is worse. Yeah, when he touches left ear, he shakes his head a lot. See that, guys? Do you want to turn it? Right. Show there it? and there. This is the inner he's ear called the bola media. <laughs> And it should be a little bit white and a little bit gray, but with the amount of white that's in here, you see that? this round shape is a little bit more normal, but see this one, how it comes up into almost like a triangle shape. And this one is his left ear, which Desiree was saying his left ear is more sensitive it's than more his right sensitive. ear. Yeah. So it makes sense that his left ear is worse on the x-ray. Yeah. Yeah. Now but this is, this is this one, this guy. He's so pretty. The good thing about that is now you know. Yeah. I was really curious because that. Yeah, now you yeah. know. And now we can just keep, you know, see what kind of other symptoms he has. I'll mm -hmm. give you the list so you can yeah. start ticking them off and then we can just manage. Yeah. Manage the Let symptoms. him live his happiest life. Yeah. <laughs> oh, He's usually too. really But the really amount happy. that have it, mm -hmm. it's astonishing. Yeah. Astonishing. <clears throat> okay. 
Well, thank you so much for looking at them. Of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Oh, can you get him? You have yeah. the water? Okay. What's his name? Oh, um, I don't know. Hamster? Hamster? Ha hamster? I like that. Hamster. It looks like hamster? a hamster. Look at your little hamster. You look like a little hamster right now because you're so teeny. I don't know. The girls give their names when they're little, little okay. babies like that. We'll just call know. him Boris then. We'll put him under hamster. Oh. Hamster. Hamster it is. Hamster. You're so cute. Ready. So this is the littlest one we've ever x-rayed for possible bulla. Is a possible bulla too? Sure. So I'm going to step aside because they've got all their leaden things. Okay, one more. Sometimes she'll do that when they're not very clear. He does seem to move a little bit. Did he move again? Ready. Those are fine. They're fine. Okay. Okay, beautiful. His pulls are good, but his heart looks big. There's something going on with him. But you. I, but we haven't done enough guinea pigs of this age to know if that's normal, but. It it's, takes up most of his chest. That looks like a big heart, yes. But again, he's so tiny. Maybe that's normal for that age? And then he grows around the heart? Yeah. Because their hearts don't grow. Their hearts should grow. Their hearts grow? Mm -hmm. Okay, then maybe it is a large. Do you have anybody else that's around that age? Yeah. Maybe we do another one and see if, what that heart looks like. Okay, let me go get him. Oh, you, here, I'll take this guy. I'll put him back with his buddies. Okay, let's do one more to check if that is a normal heart or not. And this is what I love having Dr. Nan here. We can actually do loads of x-rays and not at a crazy rate. So in fact, I have her booked in for a half a day in February where all we're going to do is uh, x-rays and to establish a baseline for bloat. Because all piggies have bloat, oftentimes. Which one, guys? You? Oh, guys, you. Now you're sneezing. I just heard you sneeze. Um. So yeah, we came to the conclusion that on X-ray, most piggies have have a certain degree of bloat. So I wanted to set a baseline for what is a normal amount and what is abnormal because i think yeah, we call it an income the minute any kind of bloat is seen it's like um you know treated as an emergency well yeah. and maybe it is actually normal hamster too hamster too okay let me get them in here hi you're just as cute little attitude biggest little face squeezing the baby yeah, Jen. Stop squeezing the baby. Oh, I know. Squeeze the baby. I didn't even touch. Someone said that. <laughs> no, no, no. It's like, don't touch me. Don't wait. Touch me. I'm scared. Ready. This is where I move away. He stayed perfectly still. Oh, yeah, look at that. That one's much smaller, isn't it? It does look smaller, huh? Yeah. It does look a little smaller. It's still, it's still bigger than big. the proportions of, a, of an adult. All right, let's go back to the other one. Look how beautiful the bows are. That's a good comparison for Desiree. Has she seen the regular ones too? I'll show her. Because these are like perfect. All right, let's go back to the other baby. Oh no, it's the same. Is it? Yeah. He's just scrunched up a little more. Okay. This is hamster two again? This one is hamster oh, one. This is hamster one. I think so. I guess we can...
This one he's moving so you can't tell his head. But. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, so maybe it's just normal proportions for that age. So maybe he, they're on the way to the calcified bullets unless we get those sneezes under control. Maybe. So Mamster One for sure has a bigger heart. Has a bigger heart than Hamster Two. Yeah, too. something I, I know something is going on with him. Okay. Okay. Well we'll keep keep an eye on them. Thank you so much. Yeah. You're so you guys look like <laughs> They're not hamsters, of course, guys. They no. Look <laughs> <laughs> they just look like baby hamsters right now. Okay, hamster one and hamster two. All right. Hi, boo boo. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, seems like there's a lot of stuff happening here right now. So I'm going to bring you over here. Oopsie. Oopsie de poops. Oopsie de poops? Yeah, I was getting my x rays I needed. I've been dying ah! to get my x rays. But I need a little help. So here, can you hold my hamster? <laughs> <laughs> we named, for the sake of the x rays, we named them hamster two and hamster one. Oh, gosh. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, we're just having fun. I'm like, that's not a hamster. <laughs> no, of course not. I don't understand can people that don't understand the it? difference between a hamster Listen, and like a rat. Can you look? Oh, we can we see? Here. And they kept calling their pig a hamster. No. And it was driving me nuts. Oh my well, god. You know how many people have asked you guys, "How's your hamsters?" Okay, Ger no. Gerbil. I have gerbil. A, I have, gerbil. No, I have the worst. They the always gerbil. call them gerbils. Yes, I that's gerbil. the one. That's right. It was I have gerbil. the worst one. When I worked at ADP, this woman comes up to my desk and says, "Avery, how are you doing? How are your porcupines?" <laughs> Porcupine? Yes, and I'm like, oh what gosh. are you talking about? I mean, she was your porky. I said, my guinea pigs? Oh, those! I mean, Claire brought in a hedgehog one time. <laughs> yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Let me see, let me see. Let me see. You guys can watch me fight. Fight with the young ruly one. It's gonna happen one way or another. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me see the wee wee. I'm sure it's clean because you're young. Oh, good poop, good poop. Clean wee wee, oh, put I've it away. Some youngsters with some dirty wee wee. I know. Well, because they, they're up to no good. Ah, that's right. Okay, so who is next? Just a quick oil bath uh, of your adoption, private. You know? And you make this soft as a baby's bottom. Ta-da! Whose piggy is this? We definitely need our tape. Who cleans the I don't have rabbits. We don't know. Okay. Just Whose piggy is this? Nobody. Nobody's claiming them. It's my piggy now. Oh, free pig. Sasky headed up. I have no idea where it goes. Which one? This oh, one. that's one of the babies. That's one of our babies. Oh, oh that's okay. that's um that Boros. Oh, okay. He goes back and he's whoop. Okay. And, uh, tower cage back middle top. Okay. And then Valerie, this top, this adoption is ready to go. Okay. Like ready to get Who are you? <laughs> Who is this? Who claims this piggy? These are the two girls that are here for an adoption. These two? Yeah. Who are the girls that were here for the adoption? Any of you guys? And they might be sitting out there. Okay. Uh, so we'll find out. Let me go see if there's a space set up for him. Yeah, where's your mommy now? And you guys can watch these. You're staring at a blank thing. Oh, hello. Yeah. Hey. I'll be back. So I think this piggy's here to find a friend. Yes. We're trying to find out where the owners are, though. So whenever I do health checks, and I've been away from the table for a while, I don't know who's who, so I always hold up the carrier and ask, whose piggy is this? And so it's become a thing. I'm sorry? Okay. We need to know who's piggy this is. We need to know who's piggy this is. They're over there. Oh, awesome. Okay, yeah, and they I brought, brought them over there. They're like, it's us. <laughs> okay, and it's it's these two uh, tall characters. Okay, awesome. All right, Missy. You're gonna find a friend today. Is that exciting? What do we think? 
some clean ears? Oh, hello. Hi. I'm sorry. Are you here? You're very soft. Look, she's almost all brown and orange, but she's got just a little bit of white on the top of her head, and it's pretty cute. Little bit of ivermectin. Clear urethra, no crusty nips. Oh, friend! You're giving me hugs! No dumption, no bumps? No dumption, no bumps, and you had the pretty teeth. I always get them from the shops here. They don't come here, so I, I adopt them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I take them to the place. Alvin was found. So I think this one's next. Oh, I think they're, they might be seeing the thoughts. They might want to go. Okay. Who has Totoro? Yeah. Who's piggy is this? That's yours? Is he, is he seen the vet? Or just a health check? Okay. Totoro and who? Pot. Pot? Hawk. Hawk. Oh, yes. This is their bed appointment. Or spill this. Hey, Mama. Mask communication. <laughs> so clear. <laughs> and I was going to wear the green version. Right? Yeah, I think that one's the paradox. There was dream within a dream and paradox. Their magnetics are awesome. Yeah, they've just released firecracker. Did you see it? No. It's like a red with like a... It's a yellow, yeah, it's firecracker for Chinese New Year. Oh, I feel it now. It's underneath here, yeah. That's just a, a benign cyst, right? It's like a fatty lipoma or something? There it is. Yeah. Is it loose? It's floaty. Yeah. It's right here. It's floaty. It's yeah. just a like skin thing. I'm going to point it out to the owners so they can keep an eye on it. Uh, yeah, just... Um, but that shouldn't interfere with her adoption, right? How's everyone yeah, feeling this Saturday? So, uh, I just, uh, whoever does the phone check on... You know we love you guys, and we love having you here with us. Oh, my mailbox is over there. Hold on one second, Brian. Hi, Jojo Monster. So, these ones came in before. What are you? Yeah. Oh, these came before this. Yes. Oh, Feeling okay. good? Well, some of us, I know, some of you guys are dealing with some stuff, huh? I got a nibble huh? on my mask. Oh, and a nibble I hope on my that finger. We bring some joy with our piggies. Avery, if you are here, or Julius, the Daphne and Bill over here, they're here for the vet. Daphne okay. has a lot of issues, but one thing that she'll be going to the vet. However, Bill, she said, had a hip hop, so wants to make sure that it's looking okay. Bill is not going to see the vet, but just like the hip hop's gone. Yeah, she's just going to Um, I'm going to. When you're done with those girls, I can take them. Over because the family is uh, okay. Let the family know about her bump. Okay. Um, other than that, she's ready to go. Okay. And she can then this is Totoro. Hi, my love. Oh, the, I think they're together. I know. Did she, is she done? She's done. Yeah, oh, okay. She Say had a Totoro. No, ma'am. Say hi. Say hi. So who's Daphne and who's Bill? Um, How's he? Is he getting older? Okay. I'm gonna have you stand on the other side of okay. the and then I'll bring hmm. you back. Yeah, I don't know. Have you watched his um have you watched him while he eats with the others? He gets his fresh air. Bill. And he's not like lethargic or anything. He has good energy. Hmm. The eyes look great. Okay. The nails look good too. There's like no way that um like it, it sorry. It looks like you put them. Like there's no way that you don't keep up with them. Oh yeah. They're really like there's not much makeup at all, which is awesome. Oh, 
Yeah. And still. Yeah, I think that might, might be like a recovered break. Yeah, it feels like a recovered Yeah, the bone is just weird. He just has a funky bone. <laughs> it sticks out a little bit there. It's just different than, than I'm used to feeling. But I think it just is some old injury that healed. And it just healed like with a little extra oh, probably scar tissue or something or a little bit out of arrangement. But it seems like it's not bothering him at all. I need to give you your little eardrop and you're just making it tough, Missy. <laughs> She's so wonderful. I love her. But yeah, her eye looks great. So Daphne has seen the vet? Um, yes. And what is Daphne's uh, issue today? So she's, she's really old. Old? Um, yeah. How old are we talking? I, uh, when I got her, she was already an adult, and they didn't know what how old she was. And I had her for four and a half years. Okay. Um, oh, your pee pee! Good pee pee! Okay. Um, <laughs> but she seems fine. She really like it's like a prerequisite for working here. You're gonna be peed on. Pooting, okay. Um, so, you can go pee me. Possibly with the Let me see your fuzzies. She's like, will never make you in her life, but her left one, I think it's her but like, if I go anywhere with my hand, she tries to like bite me. So she messes with me. I don't know if she hurts something. She's so. So, his paws are looking a little red and a little bit scabby. I think it might be okay, fungal so feet just like an that's starting to turn into like a little bit of a sore. If so if you treat it with, I'll give you the sheet all about the treatment and everything. It's very simple. Break, which is it's good. just a cream She's that you rub on the feet twice a day for a couple weeks, and that should clear it up. And that might be as like the only thing I can see with him right now that would be outwardly causing any reason why he might be losing weight. Maybe he's not being as active, or he's in a little bit of pain from from the sore feet. So that's the only thing I could think of. Um, he doesn't seem to have any lumps or masses or internal things going on that would cause weight loss. Uh, let me listen to him, make sure he lungs down good. Yeah, he sounds good. So the only thing I can see is the feet. So maybe I mean, I'll try treating that and see if that helps him um, start to feel maybe a little she bit better. You got yourself wet. Yes. Now I have to clean you up like a little baby. I have to clean you up like a little baby. Her teeth look amazing. Yeah. All right, my friend, go ahead and check it for the next okay. Can you see the kids? The kids are pretty. Stay on the side of the fence and then check in with her at that tent right there. Yeah. Okay, gray cloth carrier. That's you? Any health concerns today? Yes, Persephone. She has the black eyes. Okay. Oh, she's been here. She boarded with us, I remember. Yes. Right after you checked yeah. in with the vet. Is she seeing the vet again today? She is. Okay. I remember you guys. Good job. Uh, Persephone. And then honey is the other one, right? Yes. This is the one who wants the production. Okay. Um, Jackie. Jackie. Oh, he's working for us. Oh, his family's very sweet. Yes. His family's very sweet. Actually, he just had a health check last week. So let me just do a 
once over on him really quick. He had a full health check on his way. Uh, yes, check in with Valerie over there, and she can, she's pretty good at like, uh, yeah, they were just here last night. He's good. He's got nail clip, four clean, uh, he's healthy, so it's time for him to find him. Can you try to take him through that? Yes, go ahead and grab his family, take him through, and send him with them at the end. And if it needs any place, put him in place. Miss Honey! Hi, friend! It's been a long time since I've seen you! There you go. It's a beautiful girl! You've got the prettiest face. Oh, yes, thank you, boy. No, you're not gonna like me. No, you're not gonna like me. It's gonna happen anyway. Yes, it's gonna happen. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Go poopy! Oh, pee again! Don't pee on yourself. Stop that. <laughs> He's just like, I'm just gonna pee all over you. Hi, miss. <laughs> oh, you're so beautiful. Look at How much pee do you have in you? you? Look at this! You peed on your shoe. Oh, now I gotta clean you up. She's so pretty. I just can't get over how beautiful she is. He's like, yes, I won. <laughs> she put me back. She has a little bit of soft poopies. What's going on with your poops? Yeah, you peed on yourself. You get cleaned up like a baby. Anything new in her diet? So we've just been giving them extra veggies. Yeah. No more pee. Okay, no so maybe more she's on one seventy overload. Um, if I ran out of pellets, I would do extra hay. Come on. Instead of extra veggies. They go through a lot of hay. It's okay, baby. Relax. Well, that's good. Relax. That's good. Okay. So I would maybe whatever veggies you normally give when you're not out of pellets, I would give. Um, I think that she might be just in veggie overdrive. Yeah. <laughs> they always look so affronted. You're very keen. You guys are Jackie's owners, right? You're very keen. Uh, you it's okay. Them, welcome to come on back. Uh, okay, we Thank you. Wee wee wee. Put it away. Persephone! Don't, don't now smush I'm the poop to everywhere. See what's new. Don't smush the poop oh. everywhere. How are you feeling? Is your nose not as stuffy anymore? <laughs> I clean you up. I think she's been stepping in honey's soft poops. There, soft as a baby's bottom. Are you done pooping yet? No. Those are nervous poops. <laughs> I think it's also the fact that I'm putting pressure on his belly. Because <laughs> I'm holding him by his belly and then just, I just start pooping. That's a lot of poops. Oh my gosh. I know. They <laughs> I just love it. Certain pigs just start going. They're like, okay, we're cleaning down there. Might as well. Oh, you have to get a pink wiggly nose. Okay, I'm back. Okay, I'm you can take over. I'm going to out a whole bunch of stuff. A little bit of ivermectin that prevents lice mites and internal parasites. Are we busy, busy? What time is it? Not super busy. It's, it's... It is... I can actually... 2.50. It's 2.50. Oh, okay. I'm going to take everyone away. Wait, wait, wait. Bye. Do you want to do a health check or not? What are you doing? You can do the health check. Can you do it? What? Can you do it? Yeah. Okay. Stealing everyone. No, you you guys are okay though, right? Actually, well, let's go see what the doctor's hey, doing. Look at the I always want to know. Okay, what are we doing now? We are going to x-ray this one's heart. She's been hearing some feeding. And then 
we are doing, she, we're checking out her leg, doing an exam on her because she tends to bite now and she's not sure why. So, and it's mainly when you handle this right for like, so. Aw, she. Yeah. So, but she's not sure why. Okay. Okay. All right, you can head to the other tent to check in with the vet. So, I'm going to find a little spot real quiet because it looks like everything's under control. Lots of people here. And then where am I going to go? i to make sure that the light's right, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Perfect. Let me take this off for a minute because there's nobody around me. <sighs> Hi. It was a big sigh, huh? It's always a little stress on Saturdays. So how are you guys doing? It's funny, Mike, because I can look here in order to look at you, but your 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 talks are over here. I really should turn the whole thing over, but oh, thank you. Because, you know, making wicker baskets, so I thought, how much more perfect can it be to get some wicker earrings as well to go with it? Thanks, Melinda. Hi, tai Chan. So, we've been doing the, um, well, we got, in two weeks' time, we're going to do a proper sale, live sale, like we've been doing with... Um, Julia and Scotty it was just too cold we have people come down with COVID Gabe got COVID he's fine he's isolating inside the ranch house haven't even seen him he's so good at that he will not take a chance so he's got a bottle of um, alcohol and he's just going <laughs> wherever he goes from the bathroom to his you know lockup room um so yeah he, he, he's okay he's gonna go testing a little bit again hopefully he'll be negative but then he still wants to isolate because he doesn't believe that he might not be negative anymore so he's really good like that and he was fine it wasn't like a really bad thing you know it's like everybody has it and but thankfully this seems to be more of a milder version here in in la um so that's why we didn't do the shopping thing because we just it, you know i just came back from the vacation we all came back from vacation and then you know there was a few COVID cases and it's like you know what let's just not do it i don't want any risks and that's why we have like heightened our security as such because now all of a sudden it's in our midst whereas before you know we're a very tight-knit group a lot of us don't really go anywhere other than here they go home don't do stuff you know so we were all you know fairly safe i suppose but um i will christine i will he might be watching actually if you're watching gabe say hi hi julie So, yeah, it's, it's rotten times today, you know, it's scary, scary, scary. And you just don't know if, you, if you're getting it. It's like Russian roulette. Are you going to get it bad? Are you going to get it not so bad? You know, and the scary part was is that we missed Christmas in Chicago because we didn't want to expose par Gabe's parents who are elderly. And he misses his his family so much he's such a family man and he was just depressed i could tell it's like he was depressed all year because he wanted to see them so badly and um and so this year we decided to go yeah but he must have picked something up in the air in the plane i don't know so but, you know, we'll all go over it. This will all be a bad nightmare and everything will be fine. So, and over here, well, we just took in and I, I filmed everything. So hopefully I'll be able to put that up maybe Monday, uh, tomorrow. We had a, I think it's 30 new guinea pigs and they all came in yesterday. Um, 
we did a swoop of all the shelters, South LA, from more, some of the more outlying shelters, West LA, which is the one closer to here. And with the focus on the females that were either pregnant or exposed to a male, because those are always the ones on our, you know, at the top on the list, because we don't want to adopt out, oh no, sorry. We don't want the shelter adopting out a possibly pregnant female. Um, that goes to people who don't really know who don't might not know to separate at three weeks and then before we know it we're four generations down the road and then we get the phone call so by doing the way that we're doing it now we'll just grab all the pregnant females we can uh you know prevent that from happening which is really big you know but all the shelters are overloaded we have never encountered this ever in all my years I have the shelters calling me because they are just absolutely devastated. They don't have space and they have more guinea pigs coming in. Give me one second, Avery. Let okay. me put my mask on. Let me put it on. And I assume you have a question for me about a piglet? I do about the piglet. So this guy has what seems to be a burst sebaceous cyst on his side. And he's really, really scratching at it. It's really bothering him. Here it is. So I didn't know if there was more that could come out or any opinion on that. But he's scratching it really hard all the okay, time. Okay, let me see him and then you can take this. This is the buddy. And he's got a crusty eye. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna switch the camera around. Okay, well. hairs in the way yeah it's a burst cyst see the white stuff coming out when I squeezed it oh, your uh you see your it? body is in the way <laughs> there it is but it's not a bad one. So he can live with this. Just make sure to, to clean this real good. Okay. And, and about the itching, because it's making him itch really bad. Okay. Maybe some CBD? A uh, good bath. And I would say use some antifungal. Dave is my conazole, because it's also fungal-ish. So that doesn't make sense, though, to have that and a sebaceous cyst. But it does. And he might have some more little spots. He's very dandruffy. Yeah, so just a nice a bath. bath with an anti-dandruff or better, the Davis Myconazole will probably help him with the general itchy. Okay, yeah. all right, I'm going to hand this. Trade okay. you. Yeah. Camera for the pig. Okay, thanks. <laughs> so, where were we? Oh, yeah, so uh, Shelter's calling us in almost in tears. They're just like, gosh, we've never had to do this because... Listen, look, this is how it goes at the shelter. They only have a certain amount of time, <clears throat> sorry, a certain amount of space. And once that allocated space is, is filled, then where are they gonna put the animal that comes in after that they don't have space for? They can't. They can't just make up a cage or they can't, you know, so, so they, they, they have to euthanize at that point. Um, this is why back in the day, in, in, in 20 years ago, when I started, I was doing quite a bit of dog rescue as well. They had like five, six deep in the kennels. They had dogs in the kennels. Um, now it's like one or two dogs a kennel in some of the uh, shelters, which is like, wow, mind blowing. Because when I started, geez, it was, it was bad. They killed them every single day. They had a kill list of... Of, of dogs that were going to be killed and I would walk in the shelter and, and in the office and we just grab that whole pile that they had designated for you know euthanasia that day and we just like I'll take this one I'll take that one or young dogs anyway um, I'm just saying that because they don't want to kill them but if they don't have space they have to so that's why the desperate phone calls please 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 but we weren't able to take them because we had all the borders then you know everyone's on vacation we had some people out i mean it was really 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 rough and i think this is happening all over the country right now where they're just overwhelmed 
especially with the small animals, you know, the ones that they that people got for for COVID, for as a COVID project or, you know, something to play for the kids to play with and now the kids are in school and you know, maybe it wasn't such a good idea. And then I think that is why we're having such a huge um, influx of guinea pigs in the shelters. Yeah, and they can't just put 10 in a cage. I mean, that's not okay. So they have to make that decision to have maybe four in that cage and then the other six. You know, and that's... Um, so anyway, we got 30 out yesterday. We said we would. We wanted to just take stock after all the borders were picked up to see what kind of space we have. And we did. You know, we, we were able to pull a whole bunch. So that's good news. That's really good news. Miss Sarah, yeah, she got her guinea pigs and uh, she hasn't been around. You think she'd come for a health check? I don't know. Sarah was kind of in and out and does what she wants. I'm sure she'll be back. You heard about treating guinea pigs with turmeric for enlarged lymph nodes? Uh, you know, yeah, I mean, that might work. Sure. Yeah. Turmeric is something that is good for infection. Uh, inflammation anywhere in the body so if they like raw turmeric I see no problem why not to feed them because you can buy raw turmeric and I think that is easier to give them than the you know the, the pills or the powder okay sorry Hey Hank! Hello! Hoi hoi! Goedenavond! So, you know, work just continues on as we have. It's just, I had hoped by now with all the information out there on YouTube and, and social media that people would actually watch these programs and, 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 and educate themselves and that we would see a decrease of guinea pig ownership because of it, of people that realize, you know what, mm, maybe I'm not the right home or maybe it is just not a suitable pet for me and my lifestyle right now. And it just doesn't seem to have happened. It's, if anything, guinea pigs have become very, very popular um which you know just not very happy about in a sense you know i think peco is overrun with people buying guinea pigs and every single um surrender request that comes in it is always petco pet smart petco pet smart then every now and then it's LAGPR and those we immediately take back the guinea pigs that come from us. So, but mostly people are still going to the pet stores and getting their guinea pigs. Even though, you know, there's quite a bit of stories out there about sick guinea pigs at Peco. They just, maybe they don't believe it or just willing to take the risk. I'm not sure. Oh, you did. Hi, Zach. That's wonderful. Yes, yeah, Scotty's got tons of them. I will. Is Mr. Brian still here? We came early today. He had an appointment with the doctor, Dr. Nan. Yeah, and then, you know, I should really share with you my constant never-ending flow of surrender um, requests and the reasons why and there's a whole bunch which is kids gone to kids are getting older they're in high school now and have no more time or kids are going to college next year and we warn them for that listen how old are your kids because you're going to have to take care of these animals when the kids go off and they can't take care of them anymore. Or, you know, are you prepared to do that? Because otherwise you're going to bring them back to us and we are overloaded. That's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to place them in permanent homes. Um, but, you know, people will say anything and then 
turns out that, you know, they weren't quite truthful. It can happen. So, you know, it's a tough, it's tough, it's tough. <laughs> it really is. But we just continue on, you know, and I've got the YouTube channel, huge, huge, beautiful vehicle for, for you know, for teaching people. Uh, I'm doing videos for Small Pet Select as well. Um, don't know when they're going to start publishing those, but I'm, I'm covering super basics with them because they're all aimed to new guinea pig owners. Uh, Ursula actually said I need to start doing videos for, for us because I always feel like I'm talking to the experienced guinea pig owner, um, whereas most of the viewers might not have a clue what I'm talking about because I totally forgot to skip and bring it down to the level where people are completely new to guinea pigs. Yeah, I think I might do something like that as well, the cost of keeping a guinea pig. Um, I think I did that. I wrote about that for Small Pet Select. I have an article about that. And to be honest, uh, I asked them to double check my figures because it was enormous. It was enormous. So I said, please, I'm not very good at math, so check my numbers on that before you publish it because I don't know if that is correct. And that was just for two guinea pigs. So, you know, I noticed really interesting that everybody loved the video I put up with Patrick. You know, seeing if Patrick can go back with the Buddha boys and, and it got so many views. And I'm always like, but it's like, a wasn't it like boring just to watch Patrick go through the motions? And, and uh, apparently people loved it, you know? I'm always about action and, 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 and like the, the really bad case come in that I can talk about and then fix up and show you stuff and you know and maybe it's a little but not always people don't always want to see that and all the icky stuff so maybe I should do just some cuter videos cute yeah I'm not I don't do cute so good but I'm gonna try <laughs> what do you think Hey, yeah, the local pet support loss group. That is an amazing move. And it's very brave for you to recognize, you know? Because your pets, they, they're our friends. It's not just an animal, you know? And when one passes away, it's devastating, absolutely devastating. Especially if you don't have a lot of more support or you don't have a lot of family around you and you're you especially in these times when you can't actually be around your family. You have your pets and they are your your everything, you know, they're your company, they're your confidant and 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 you have someone to care for and, and that gives love that you can like, give love to and gives love back. And if you lose that, especially in this time, that is devastating, you know? Yeah, oats are good. They like oats. They say wikis. Oh, adding a fifth. I don't think that would have made a, ma a major difference if I'd added another one. But I'm going to try it again when I have a whole day. I'm going to sit. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to put them in there. And then um, we're gonna, because I have a feeling it will work. I'm just gonna stick with it. Okay, Avery, she brings me another special case. Let me put my uh, glove on and get on oh, my glove. Your face glove? My face glove. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this, this is our surrender. This? this was the girl you told me to invite who has the pregnant piggy that she found in a box. Okay. Piggy is very, very, very young. Piggy's very pregnant, but Piggy has some severe eye crusts. Yeah, she don't look good, and this is probably why I asked him to to come. Okay, here you go. Uh, this, tell me the story again. Okay, so Piggy and her friends were found 
um, I guess in a box on the side of the road. Um, the piggy parents are keeping the two boys, but girl is getting surrendered. Okay. She's very young. She's very pregnant. Missy. Hi. Look at these babies in here. They're pretty active. They were kicking me when I was uh, playing with her. Yeah, yeah. She's she's due pretty soon, I think. You feel the size of these puppies. Yeah, okay. So, um, has she been sneezing at all? I didn't hear anything, but I just got her in. Okay. Well, let's clean her with a little... Um, eye cleaner she's also drooling if you can feel under her chin she's got a lot of crust under her chin um so i got pretty concerned and wanted to get your opinion but i checked her teeth and they look okay well let's she is very skinny even though this is not skinny but it's babies but here i can feel her ribs really good so she's, she's teeny tiny she is completely underweight um so why don't we clean air, clean up her uh, eyes? You know what? Why don't, why don't we just go do that? Yeah. Just... I got it. You got it? Yeah, I got it. I'll, 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 I'll grab her. Wait, where are we? No, I gotta turn her around. Oh. Yeah, whoopsie. Okay. And is there any snacks here? I'll get some snacks. Yay. Okay. This is one that I saw come in at the surrender list that I pulled forward. I'm not supposed to do that. However, I, I will do it when I am very concerned about a particular guinea pig, which is this one. As you can see, she really needs our help. And she stayed where she was. She was living with two males. She probably would have had her babies with the other two males and would have been pregnant yet again and she is not doing good she's super super skinny so let me get mm. Gosh. What can you guys see? I see one piglet and one big lettuce. Alright. Can you eat or do you have teeth issues? Because, oh, I hope you don't, my love. I hope you don't, my little baby girl. But obviously, the crusties around the ears, eyes would indicate there's something going on. Okay. Let's see if her insides are dirty. No. I'm going to go get a cage set up for her and then I'll be back. Yeah, can I get maybe some other snacks? Because she doesn't seem to doesn't like lettuce. Um, I can bring over some other stuff. Thank you, Bikasaskia. Yeah, of course, my love. Hey, whoa. I'm leaving. I don't want to get a camera anymore. Come back. <laughs> Did you like veggie grove today? Probably. Mm. <laughs> Come on, I want to see you eat like a normal piglet. Because she said you are drooly underneath, and this, that would not be good because that would indicate that maybe, just maybe, you have teeth issues, which would not be good at your age. So. No. Okay, let's wait. Oh, I got a carrot here. Let's see. It's actually the best test because if they can eat carrot, it's hard. Yes. Yeah. 
That's pretty good. So she is eating the carrot, and you know what's the most important part is that she dips down for another bite. That is how you can tell, because sometimes they will take a bite, and then it will take them, you know, chewing, 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 and you're thinking, oh, she's chewing, so it's good, but you've got to measure the times, how long it takes for the piggy to dip down for the second bite. Come on, sleepy. So I have a feeling that she was just not fed enough. Um, my vitamin C. And I've got vitamin C, but no. Right now we just have lettuce in the fridge. Let's see if she wants a little bit of hay. She ate some of the carrot. I think she'll be okay. Um, I want to give her some vitamin C, but I don't have any, any, uh, here, take her, put her away. Mama Sita, oh, was she jicky. Did you give her vitamin C or you want me to? No, I want you to. Okay. So what do we think? about the eye crusties and the drooling? Uh, you know, it could be from just a terrible diet. Okay. You know, not a good diet. Let me give her some CBD. Her breathing sounds okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't hear you. No, she sounds okay. So I think she needs just better food. Should she be on her own or can she go in the nursery? Um, you know, if she can go on her own, because I, I don't want her to bring anything into the nursery. Understood. So that would be much better. Okay. I'll have to uh, do some we see her looking a little better. She likes the hay, so just uh, find her a cage and just pile it on with yummies. Okay. And she didn't get this yet, so let me get you a little bit of... Yeah. So if, if in the next few days she shows that she's getting better, maybe we can move her into the nursery? Yes. Okay. Yeah, but what we're seeing is probably just malnutrition and not enough food. So right, here we go. And take this. Hi, beauty. Take all this. Take all this. Take all this. Take all this. Because otherwise they're going to throw it away. Okay. Put it on the paper. Because it's being in touch with her. No, it's finding a uh, stage for her. There. Smiling. I know you can see. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that was my one pig that I picked out from the many 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 requests for incoming that i knew we needed our help and it was not going to end well unless we stepped in so i will do that and and bring some pigs to the front if i feel that you know they they really need it uh, but a lot of times the pigs are safe in a family situation but this situation uh, i don't think was a safe situation so yeah hi someone helping you guys you're good you're waiting okay hi grace hi brigitte you worry, my command is taking wrong with all my concern. Are you talking to me? Yeah, you know I don't get upset. So if you were talking to me, stop it. <laughs> stop it! Alright, I'm gonna go and see what the vet's doing. I'm gonna bother you again! What do we got? What are we doing? We're doing respiratory, respiratory and ultrasound or um, x-ray bladder, whatever you think. Okay. Cool stuff. Yes, it's a recheck, but not it gotten any better. Oh. Yeah. Did we do uh, x-ray? I don't think we did an x-ray last time. So we'll have to see what we're going to do. What else was I going to say? Oh my gosh. Really? Yeah. <laughs>
Um, this happens more the older I get. What? Yeah, I oh. want something. I, um, I the came here to say something, something, and then I completely don't sometimes. know what it was. Sometimes I remember, sometimes I don't. Yeah. Um, oh, um, azithromycin. Yes. Be using it for pneumonia. Uh -huh. Pneumonia. Okay. How's it working? Is it working? Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. Okay. So that's why I ordered some. Yeah. And it's been, I like it a lot. Okay. Yeah. And there you're not getting the GI problems? No, not at all. Betrayal is the one who makes them stop eating, right. gives them soft stool. And some people think it's part of the, you know, of the disease. Like, oh, now he stopped pooping and because he's sick. Um, but the minute they take him off the Betrayal, that the appetite comes back, the poop goes normal. So that's why I, I'm no longer using the Betrayal, really, because it's scary. Because, yeah. you know, you don't know. And, and it will weaken them when they're already sick. So, and on weakers on the group that we have, I hear so many people saying the same thing. Oh, I, he's been given medication, and now he stopped eating. And I'm asked what medication Betrayal and Renrofoxacin. So I'm like, stop it and ask for another one. So I, I, I think that, you know, it, it, everyone was always given the Betrayal, and I think maybe we need to start looking into uh, other things. Other things. Yeah. That's why we're doing Bactrim. We switched over to Bactrim mainly, mostly. And I haven't heard anybody have issues, the GI issues with Bactrim. No, oh, not at all. No, yes. they tolerate it super well. And it does a great job. Yeah, it does a great job. Um, and uh, we're going to do a video on how to make a nebulizing box as well. I don't oh, have that great yet. Idea. Yeah, we don't have a video. I can't believe we don't have a video creating a nebulizing box. So that's on the schedule. I'll be back. I'll be back. So very, very busy. So no more Betrayal, guys. Betrayal is like the, was at one point the go-to for vets and still is for most because the drug companies are pushing it for use for guinea pigs. But you know what? It is not worth it if your guinea pig ends up with, um, if your guinea pig ends up with non appetent doesn't want to eat and also uh, starts to have soft poop. And you think that it's part of the disease that they're going through and you just keep giving the medication, then the minute you stop the Betrayal or the Enrofloxacin, it actually gets better. So insist on Bectrim or the other name for Bectrim is Sulfonate. Yeah, there's a whole, you can sulfa something or other. Where's the bottle? It's sulfa something. It's sticky. SMD. SMD. A sulfa methoxazole and trimethorphrim. But if you say Bactrim, which is actually the brand name, they'll know what you mean. You'll probably get the generic anyway. So, yeah, and then uh, the zithromycin for the pneumonia, I found, does really well. Yeah, it's the same thing, exactly. Natalie, it's the same, but um, they, they're different names. So, Bectrum is easier to, uh, to remember. Oh, hey, Julia. Happy New Year. Yeah, or SMZ, you can do that too. They will know what that means too. SMZ, we, we have SMZ with the horses, but they're like big pills, and you got to give them a ton of them. <laughs> yeah, so what's happening? So, baby, 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 baby cam. What's your baby cam? What do you think, guys? A little bit of baby cam going on? It is. A little bit of baby cam. You have to hide. Or hide if you want to. Yeah, yeah so well, we'll that, but oh, we are going to put loads of stuff here. Guys, we, we are on baby cam. Who's a good mama? You're a good Hi. mama. Yes, you are. Baby cam, you need to order? Yeah. Okay. Can you put something for baby cam? Exactly where the baby cam is. Okay. And then I'll go order. 
Can you? Where is? Okay, good. There we go. Oh, that didn't really work. <laughs> Hear you soon. Oh, you have to you guys. I don't know if you remember me. Yeah. Oh, they're on the live. Hey, buddy. Happy New Year, buddy. Came and check up on the on the piggies uh, for the first time this year. 
I actually, uh, I saw one of the uh, babies nursing, and I could actually hear the the sucking sound of the ba of the baby sucking on him. <laughs> I was like, oh my god! And
fighting. <laughs> they are so loud. That's baby cam. Oh my goodness. That's your baby cam. Did you eat all your food? That means the baby cam's not interesting anymore. You gotta stay in the middle so everyone can watch you. Yeah. See, I gotta train them better, those newborn babies. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, which one of you have been following my um, uh, fundraising attempts on Facebook? I would like to hear your um, um, suggestions. Su suggestion. For that. When yeah. you put out little items for yeah. us to see, put something that we can recognize, like a quarter or a ruler oh, or something, to see. so we can judge the size. Oh, okay. I can do that. Yeah, because there were some of those raw ones you put out, but you said that they were around a pound, but I don't know what that is site-wise. My daughter might have liked one, but she needs a smaller one Which to one? fit in her rock polisher. The one It was the one of the first ones you did. Oh, it was the tourmaline. Yeah, and it was oh, really cool. I thought, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Of that, but I think it's too big to fit. Okay. In the in thing. a tumbler. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So the, those were nice. The tourmaline. I love raw rocks. I just love it. I ordered a bunch of raw rocks. And um, and have you met Hannah, everyone? Has Hannah been officially introduced as our new volunteer? Oh, and I'm here without my mask. <laughs> All the time, but fear not. I have like a whole bunch stashed away. They're not the the proper ones, but anyway, Hannah. Hi. Come say hi to everyone. Hello. So this is the second week she's shown up. <laughs> Thank you. I always say, you know, uh, when they make it to four weeks. I'm going to start training them. And before that, <laughs> because we've had so many people, they come and then they just decide it's not for them, you know? So that's why I always say, come and come again if you like it. And then if you've managed to do four weeks, it means you really obviously like it, right? Yeah. And so then we, we, we start paying a little more attention to <laughs> I think and like enough. getting you to do more stuff and... I know. So yeah, we hope that she's gonna, you know, like it and 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 keep coming. And we could definitely do with a help. <laughs> so and she's from England. And how, when did you move here? Uh, beginning of November. And whereabouts in England are you from? As uh, originally the southeast, so quite near London. Um, but I was living up near Newcastle with my husband before we moved. Um, we got lots of English fans. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm like, you know, I'm a mixture of whatever. I'm Dutch, I, I lived in England, I lived in Portugal, so I'm all over the place. And I love my international um, peeps. So, you love the accent. I can, I, my British is not so bad either, actually. I can speak proper. Everyone says they like my accent. She's um, got a very proper accent. Thanks. <laughs> Portugal! Who says this? Okay, oh man, I'm telling you, I'm getting old, I can't read it. Diana Silva. Silva. Hola. <laughs> hey. And it looks like I speak a lot of languages, but I don't. I just get the accent right. I just say a few things and everybody thinks I'm like totally... I've been fooling all of you. So, and you had guinea pigs at, uh, back in England? Yes, two girls, Mabel and Maisie. Yeah. And you've had guinea pigs for how long? So, my girls are Come now... Come closer, don't be shy, don't um, be shy. They're now four and a half. Um, so I got them, yeah, four and a half years ago. I have to confess I got them from a pet store. Um, mm -hmm. so that was before I knew... Hey, no judgment about, here. A lot about guinea pigs. Um, but yeah, we, we don't. We don't judge. Everybody knows that. Yeah, um, but unfortunately I couldn't bring them on the plane with me to um, LA, so they're with my brother-in-law and his fiance, and we get lots of updates about them. Oh, um, that's good. That's good. Yeah. It's heartbreaking, you know, life takes yeah. you one place and you can't... It's heartbreaking. Yeah. It just is, you know? I, I don't know if I were to have to move. God, <laughs> I wanted to bring all of them with me, but 
Gee, that, 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 that would be really tough. How long have you been here? Uh, living here for about 13 years, doing okay. rescue since about 99. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah. Um, and, okay, got more questions for you. So, <laughs> and how did you hear about Ellie Guinea Pig Rescue? Just Google, the internet. Um, and were you following us and watching the lives or? No, I became a member of the Facebook page first. And then uh, we can't get guinea pigs here because we're only going to be here for about two years, maybe three uh, years. So it's not fair to, right. to commit. And then, so I just thought, well, if there's anywhere I can volunteer and come and help out. You know, it's part. true. If you come here, you don't need guinea pigs anymore. <laughs> oh, no, no right. there's loads They're here. Gone. Um, oh, no. So no, this is that's why I'm, I'm here. Yeah, I used to work at a horse ranch, and uh, my my Usually biggest dream as a here. kid was having my own horses, right? Like most girls, and then I started working there, and I had 26 horses oh, under my control, and I'm like, man, um, I don't need a horse anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I got all yeah. these to play with all day, yeah. so I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, welcome Hannah. Thank you. Thank you. Did you manage I gave her a shitty job earlier. Did you manage to get all the I did, yeah. <laughs> this is all your I put them in the folders. Oh this good. And there's all the uh, yeah, I see my printer is like I don't know, it's a bit kaput and it it will print out an extra after every you know thing and it's just so annoying habit but every all my stuff is so old it's bound to start you know falling apart and breaking okay so let's let's walk over there and see where everyone's at what are you doing i am prepping meds desiree's prepping meds yeah. so desiree is our new mess staff member you're going to be seeing Yay. <laughs> oh margie you really like the the life sales oh yeah we started talking about that but let's talk about desiree for a moment <laughs> so desiree was a manager at petco That's and smart. she oh sorry it's all it's the same so to me to Ugh, it's all the same to me anyway i'm sorry i apologize um because of her and her compassion we were able to take in Millhouse, who is a Buddha boy now, mm -hmm. who came here with a terrible pneumonia, and I didn't think we were going to be able to save him. And we're pretty good when it comes to that kind of stuff, right? Yeah. Um, but we did. And he was kept in the back, right, without any medication. He, they just kept him kind of slowly to die, because without interference, there's no, there would be no good ending for him. Those of you who don't know, let's go find him. Hi there, Milhousey. Hi, Milhouse, you're a good boy. A good boy. Well, you're sleeping and you just woke up. Come here. Say hi to everybody. Say hi, everybody. Uh, yeah, he was terribly, terribly ill. And so yeah. Desiree made sure that he got here, got safe, and he has a ter terrible calcified bulla which we discovered when I just ordered an, a lung x-ray to see where his pneumonia was at. And it was an accidental find because I was stunned to see it in an animal that young. Stunned. Um, and also, on a side note, Desiree's own personal guinea pig um, was just x-rayed by Dr. Nan and has terrible calcified bulla. Yeah. on both sides one side more than the other now yeah, it's it's uh i you know how many guinea pigs have it so many so dr nan is coming next month we're spending a whole day together or half a day as long as she can spare and we're going to do nothing but x-rays um, hmm? we're going to do nothing but x-rays and and the reason I'm doing this because I want to see, for one, I want to see how prevalent really this is. Because you have asymptomatic full of pigs. Like Bamba could be considered an asymptomatic. Um, um, Casanova, you know, the way he is now could be considered asymptomatic. 
but it's there and it probably will take up years of their life. Um, so it's crazy how, okay, I'm gonna talk and to you again there. Oh yeah. Nope. Come back. So how many pigs have it? How many pigs have it? It's scary stuff. I don't know if they have it the same in England. It has to almost be. But um the new um the new guinea pig magazine is coming out and I actually have an article that I wrote about it. So people can start to realize that all those symptoms put together makes for a possible bulla pig. We call it bulla pig, but it, you know, it's it's a syndrome. It's it's um, a calcified bulla syndrome (CBS) is what I called it. It's nothing scientific. Um, no one has done any scientific research. The only research that has been done on this is me and Dr. Nan. Um, so yeah, there we go. There's a race pig is is positive. It's like COVID. Yeah. But the problem is you can recover from COVID, but they cannot recover from this. So I'm just gonna let him have a happy life. I'm gonna treat him the best I can. Hannah, she just said where she's from in the UK, and now I forget. South I forget. Who mm. down? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. He was uh, surrendered. He was adopted from here, though, so I'm trying to find his name card. Would you find a name card? You look like one of those previous Palmdale blondies. Yes, they do. Uh, probably, he, he might have been a baby from that group, maybe? Yeah, because, you know, and hey, you know what? Those Palmdale, uh, they look the same like the first Palmdale group. Do you think they might be from the same people? You know what? They're all, they're Abbeys. They're all the they were all Abbeys, the ones from last time. They would not be good. Did you see my pregnant lady? Yes, I did. Now, I want to keep her separate in case she's, you know, she's, sure. she's got something going on. Gentlemen. Oh. I know, we, uh, we have sweets available everywhere here. <sighs> oh, the goose? Are you okay to be on YouTube? Say hi everyone. Hi. So you want to go? So, you can go say hi to Wee Worker. Just he's noisy. We're waiting for we're waiting for a... Don't put your hand in because he no. might he yeah. might oh. nip. Okay. We're waiting for Guillaume's uh, final health test. Awesome. Nice. Yeah, go say hi. But he's a you yeah. know he's a goose. He's a goose. So. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's raining. Gosh, that's I don't know. Is that good or bad? Get all the stuff that it's all covered up, so that's good. So I think we are, are done with our appointments, right? I just finished up the last adoption, I think. And health check. So it's just Absolutely. Dr. Just Nan who is slammed still. What have you been doing? Where have you been? I've been gone from all the health checks. I've been gone from all the health checks? Yes. Or did no. you come back while I was doing the adoptions? I've been back and I've been everywhere, girl. I know you've been everywhere. That's what I'm saying. You're like all over the place today, man. Yeah, yeah. She's on the move. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna try the washing the hands, see if that helps them. Okay, first. Okay, perfect. And if the sneezing keeps going, gets worse, you notice nasal discharge, then we can revisit doing more diagnostics or more antibiotic treatment if needed. Okay. Okay. No, actually. Mm. She's because they sounded really good. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So then, let me get you your baby. Okay. And it's just forty dollars. Hi. How are you? It's raining. Woo! It's raining in California. I love it. More. It like literally doesn't rain here. You know, two weeks a year or something. Silly. It's silly, silly. All right, so let's have a look at this adoption. So that's Magellan. And Magellan is pretty dominant. Yes, he is. So I don't know if this is going to work out too well. I'm, I'm considering switching him out. Okay, so I noticed he's not really aggressive. He just wants to hunt. Yes, and so, this guy's not getting aggressive back, which is why I haven't separated him yet. Okay, so we're just going to wait till one of them gets tired. 
As long as there's no teeth chattering. There's been a little chattering, but they've stopped. Okay. So have your greens at hand to give them a break. Oh, can you grab the greens, Anna? And then we can just put in a little bit of greens and just to see if they'll take a break. Because if they take a break, that usually means that they are comfortable with each other enough to take a little snack break. That's it. This Let's is also see. Magellan's third try today, so he's a little grumpy, I think. Ooh, nom nom. So he is comfortable having a little snack. So he kind of likes this guy. What about you? Meh. But at least he's, he stopped going to Magellan, but that's because he was probably more of the instigator. No, he's starting to eat it now. Hey, looks good. Oh, there's the teeth. Yeah. There goes the teeth. Well, let's watch it, because don't give up too soon. Oh, I don't. I was going to do a new series of videos on um, bondings, and I was just going to plonk together a bunch of different boys and then give my commentary. Good or bad, you know, we were just going to... So you chatter. can really see the different types of... You know, the different types of scenarios you can come across. Um, okay, so back to um, the fundraising. In two weeks, we're planning the proper fundraising with Julia and Scotty and the way we've did it. Wait, see my name. The Surrender Girl should see Dr. Nan for an x-ray. No, I don't think so. I think she'll be totally fine. Um, she seemed healthy other than a little crusty around the eyes. She's skinny, but she's eating good. So I think she's gonna be just fine. Just a lot of food. She'll gain her strength, she'll be fine. X-ray's not really gonna tell us much other than maybe how many babies are in there. Oh, you your Yes. Oh, you're welcome, Amy. Amy giggles. Um, okay, so yes, uh, that is gonna be through YouTube, the big one that we do. Um, but because we couldn't do any this week, because I've already explained why, we decided to just do some small ones and people can open a basket. And tomorrow I'll be also posting a bunch of stuff as well. Uh, wait, you couldn't find the video on the gold sandstone sale video? It's right there. That's weird. Maybe close and open your browser. It's there. Yeah, I put it there. Or it's, I watched it there. It's there. That's strange. So as soon as we're kind of ready, pack, 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 packed up here, and I'm going to uh, put a little, few more items, and then tomorrow as well, and that'll be the last day for tomorrow. Then we've kind of done it for the week, um, and uh, yeah. And I hope you like it. I mean, I don't know. Maybe people are going, oh God, here she goes again with her stuff to sell. I prefer doing that than having to just ask, just just hold up my hand and say, give me money, give me money. At least you get something in return, you know? So, you want to adopt? Then, if you're local, go to the website, fill out the adoption application, and then right after that, you can actually make an adoption, uh, uh, sorry, an adoption, yes, an adoption appointment, yeah. Uh, they found four tiny stones instead. No calcified bulla. He's a good tiny. Nice. <laughs> but that's not nice for stones, though, even though they're tiny. But the good thing is if it's a female, there is a highly, very highly good, it's a good chance that she's going to flush them herself. So lots of water, lots of veggies, dunk your veggies in water. So a lot of water going through to give those little stones a chance to flush through. Oh, that makes it oh thanks, Christine. You rather send money? Oh, well, okay. That's, that's fine too. Oh, thanks, Brigitte. 
Yeah, the live sales are a little different from the ones that I just post on, on Facebook. Oh, they're one off. Yeah, it's all good stuff. And you guys get to see Scotty. <laughs> yeah, well, that's in two weeks from now. Yeah, for that live sale. Yeah, so Scotty still needs to do the, um, whatchamacallit, the poster for it. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, well, I can do it, but I'm not good at it. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty's always, you know, he has his. Yeah, Medicam is helping a lot. Dunk veggie in the water. And you can also ask the vet if the vet's comfortable with you doing that is to give her liquid, subcutaneous liquid. The vets here will do that. They'll give you a bag, they'll give you the needle, the butterfly needles to do it. Um, you might have seen me do it here when we've had pigs that needed it and that's just a, a, another way to get more fluid in that you can then you know that will help with flushing out um so you can ask for that vets are you know quite okay with people doing this at home so you just put the needle the butterfly needle here and it connects to a big bag of, of uh, saline and that will put lots of liquid that will just you know go through and hopefully little stones on a female can can go hey listen I put a stone this big that was on a female that I thought I am not gonna be able to get that out we're gonna go to the doctor with her and the next day that stone is gone. Now you tell me. She passed it somehow. Crazy, huh? <laughs> yeah. And it's helping us a lot, the sales. It really is. Yeah, so there's some coming tonight, and then there's some coming tomorrow, and then that's the end for this week. And then we're going to gear up for the actual big live that we did before, where I'm just hoping it's not going to rain because we did that outside. So but we'll find a good space for it. It was just a nice... Oh, thank you, Maria. It was just a nice background to do it at, you know, like to create a little... You know, nice background, cute and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thanks, Maria. I know, we have a lot of fun. Most of the time. Most of the time. Very, very sweet. Okay, let's see who's wrapping up and doing what. Because I might actually sneak away and post something. These two are still at it. So, younger boy. Yeah, he wants to hump. But he's not aggressive. But not he's aggressive. Just humping, but I think with Jelen, it's like I've seen enough. Yeah. Enough today. <laughs> It's only a matter of time before Magellan's just going to blow up. He's not going to put up with it much longer. Magellan is pretty peaceful, but he comes in really quietly. But because he's so gentle, I think that we kind of put him with younger, more potentially complicated. Oh, what he's chattering now. Yeah. He's like, let me hump you. <laughs> he's coming at him with the side foot. Yeah. So I think it's time to uh, take him out. And then what? I think I have one more option that I want to try. Well, we are kind of slim pickings at, at the end of the day. So I'm going to try him with that one boy that I brought earlier who's more equal in age. However, it's not going to be a guarantee, you know. And he's yeah. already coming in with a little bit more of a, yeah, a, you know, a little chip on his shoulder. Yeah. So yeah. hopefully, 
but the other so we'll boy see. is not Even as. Though, I mean, if it doesn't work out, I'm not gonna bring someone home that's gonna potentially put it e right. either one at harm. Right. So we can always come back. Um, you know, like early. When there's more, yeah, options. You guys don't look too um, far, right? Yeah, we live far. We live oh. about an hour away. Oh, but oh, it's yeah. fine. We want to make sure that you get yeah, you no, get a good fine. one. Good match. So she wants to go Okay. So I am going to say goodbye. And then I'll be posting things on Facebook. Okay? To, to buy. And they're all cute. And I was thinking maybe I could actually post a few of the bigger pieces that I will donate uh, myself um, to the rescue. Because I don't, it's all being like the smaller stuff and the little, you know, it's all cute and it's all, you know, wonderful. Um, but maybe some of the bigger pieces, some people might be interested in it. You can always try. And I, I'm going to wait here. And yes, we can see Hippo. Hippo, Hippo. Hippo, Poopy. Hi, Hippo. Are you having your gingin? I gotta get that water bottle down and uh, skill on me. Hi, oh, sweetness. Hi, my little love. You're such a good boy. I love you. Yeah. What's your dinner? Didn't get your dinner yet? Okay, it'll come. It'll come. And did um did they explain how to do the water bottles to clean them yeah, up yeah. yeah this is hippo's bottle oh okay yeah he actually needs a small bottle because that big bottle makes it it's, it's gonna get dirtier yeah. because it's in there too long yeah so that was hippo and wait here no blue sky. Yay! If, the, if it's not windy, I might even put the fireplace on. I might even post a photo of my fireplace. Because I love that fireplace. I really do. I really do. Alright, ladies. So, um, I'm going to call it a night, a day, so I can uh, work on... Oh, oops. On the fundraising a little bit. So, I'm hoping you are all going to follow me to Facebook where i'll be posting some really cool stuff and actually i can take this off because nobody there's nobody around me um so yeah i would love that bye margie <laughs> what was that ursula all right guys big kisses Mwah. let's uh keep an eye on facebook because we'll, we'll be putting stuff on there okay all right. Love you guys. Mwah. Yes, because I gotta do the the. I gotta do the fundraising. And the nails. Thank you. <laughs> all right. I'll see you all there. Big kisses. Mwah. <laughs>